the Speaker's future is on the line now because of what happened last week in Parliament. Do you regret the way it worked out? I mean, he did get you, the Labour Party, out of a hole. Um, do you still hold that neither you or anybody in the Labour Party put any undue pressure on him? My focus is on the awful situation in Gaza. Uh, not the parliamentary process, the awful situation. And we all want to see an end to the uh, thousands of people being killed in Gaza. We want to see those hostages out and we want a pathway um, to a peaceful settlement. And that's why it was very important last year, that uh, last week, that Parliament did pass uh, the motion that calls for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire and a route out that allows hostages to come out, aid to get in, and the only way through this, which is a political solution to a two-state solution. And this week, the Scottish National Party asking for a debate. Will you work with them to come up with a form of words that... Uh, people from across house can get behind? I think this is a matter for the SNP. I was in the Munich Security Conference last weekend, weekend before last, and that's where very serious discussions are going on about how we end the awful situation in Gaza. Um, and that's what we should be talking about, an immediate humanitarian ceasefire, that's Labour's position, that was actually passed by Parliament last week, that's good. Uh, we now, I think, all need to work to make uh, those words a reality, uh, not just for the next few days, it's urgent now, but also as a longer term path to the two state solution that is the only political way out of this awful situation. So, Keir Starmer, thank you. Thank you.